Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Side Pursue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, are you dating the wrong person because you don't want to be alone? Well, fulfilling this temporary void is not only sad, but it sucks for the person that you're dating because they think you're probably there for the long haul, especially if you've been seeing each other for a while. So you know when you're in a in the right relationship because things flow. You're excited to be there. It, it's not a forced situation. The thing that both people have to understand when they're going into a new relationship is they both have say in what goes on. And both people should be acknowledging what is being met, what's not there, all these things that you pay attention to in a new relationship. Sometimes people let things slide in the beginning of a new relationship because they think, oh, you know, everything else is great. There's a couple of things that aren't, aren't there. Oh, they'll come around. I know that we'll, we'll have a good connection eventually. And they let it slide. And then before they know it, they're in a situation where they already have fallen for the person. And this is the problem because if you're not getting back what you need to get back, you're settling yourself. So it becomes a situation where you're both not in the right relationship. Because if you're the one that's there thinking there's something bigger going on, you're sort of fooling yourself because there's signs that come out that are pretty noticeable when somebody is just there for being in a, just having somebody to be with. There's a lot of signs. So it's really important when you are dating somebody new that you look for these signs. A lot of people are settling. A lot of people are just fed up with being single. So they say to themselves, well, you know what? There's a lot of really good things here. It's not everything, but it's not bad. Well, nobody wants to be that not bad person in the relationship. Everybody wants to feel that their person is truly invested and in love with them. But it's not good to just not be true to yourself. You want to be able to take the time to meet the right person. And again, it's got to be fair for you and for your partner. If they're getting the short end of the stick because you're not really invested in them, does that make you feel okay? Because really, at the end of the day, it's got to be a little bit boring for you if you're not with the person that excites you and the person you want to come home to. So what are you actually getting out of this scenario? The more time you spend alone getting to know yourself is when you find out what you're truly looking for. Who's going to come in and be a part of your life, an extension of who you are? These are important things to grasp, to grasp, and that's why we date. We move on because the partner isn't right for us or we're not right for them, whatever the scenario that happens during that time. But it is a lesson and it is a good lesson and it takes you further up the ladder to meeting the person that you're supposed to be with. You're not supposed to settle in a place that you're not content or happy in. I know it's easier said than done to feel strong just with who you are because we all have days where we don't feel that way. We feel like we're dealing with a bunch of stuff. It just takes the wind out of our sails and we feel lonely. We feel like, oh my God, I just need some support once in a while. But once you're comfortable in your own skin and you're happy for the most part with who you are and your accomplishments, your achievements, your personality, this is when you truly will meet somebody that you're supposed to meet because you're complete with who you are. And we're always going to have growth spurts and learning curves and all sorts of things. But if you keep going and bettering yourself and getting to the, the place where you're supposed to be, you will meet the person you're supposed to be with. When you end up in a wrong relationship and you know it's wrong, you're always going to be looking for more from that person. You're never going to feel satisfied because they're not the right fit for you. So you're going to be spending a lot of time being unhappy in that situation as well. So why not take the time to figure out who you are first? And then you can meet somebody who's similar and thinks the way you do and has a lot of co commonality with, with the things that you want in your life and they want in their life. It makes so much more sense to find out who you are first 
and to be comfortable with who you are before you put yourself into a relationship status. So if you do find that you are ending up in wrong relationships all the time, there's something inside of you that's missing that needs to be nurtured. Take the time to figure out what that is. Stay away from a relationship for a while. Take some time to really sit down and figure out what it is that you want. What is important to you? Why do you always have to be with someone? Why can't you take time to get to know who you are so that you can grow and be a better person to meet the person you're supposed to be with? Because when we take time away from being in a relationship, we only have time for ourselves. And that's a good thing sometimes because it makes us connect within our own person because we don't have anyone to rely on except ourselves. So we have to understand that if we want to have love in our life, we have to grow so that we can allow it to come into our life. So we're not repeating patterns that aren't working for us because being in the wrong relationship, it's not fulfilling at the end of the day. It really isn't for either you or your partner. Be honest with yourself, be honest with them and take time to figure out what it is you truly are missing because that's what's happening. You're missing something really important that keeps pulling you back to get someone to help you be that person, but it's not working. So figure it out. Please leave your comments below the video. If you have any show topics for me, I'm always looking for great topics. And I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel today and please click like. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.